Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video. Today we'll be looking at how to make a sp uh, spider spawner tutorial. So, as you know, spider spawner tutorials, they're a little bit more different to normal zombie and skeleton spawners. So, this one can be used for regular spiders and it can be used for um, cave spider spawners. So, the ones we find in the abandoned mine shafts. So, if you find an, um, one in the abandoned mine shaft, it's a lot better. They drop more XP and it's a lot better. Um, the resources you're going to need is fairly cheap, like it doesn't take anything. So you're going to need basically something to mine out the area with, because we're going to be like mining out an area to um, drop them down and stuff. Uh, you're going to need about two chests for your storage, so one double chest, seven hoppers to collect all of the stuff. And you're going to need about 16 uh, slabs of any choice, doesn't have to be um, smooth stone. And then you're going to need an infinite water source nearby, and probably something to kill the uh, spiders with once you're done with it. So next up you're going to find a cave spider spawner. So this was originally just a regular spider spawner, and I made the farm with that design. And basically it, it's the exact same, you just... Uh, it's a little, it's a tad different, I'll show you a bit later on. Uh, so, it works with both of them, Either you just have to make one slight change if you want a spider spawner to work more efficiently. So, with your spawner, you want to make sure there is a one block gap up above it, so just a one gap here. Um, now, if you don't want mobs to spawn while you're making this, make sure to light up the area, or you can go ahead and just switch it to peaceful like I did. It does not clear any of your achievements, it um, just switches it to peaceful so you don't have all those mobs spawning on you and all that sort of stuff. So you want to make sure it's one block of gap above and you're going to place one slab on top of it. That will stop basically all the spiders from like getting up to this bit here and then sticking around. And you want to go, you want to go like one, two down and dig out this whole area here. And that will give enough room to drop down and stuff. So while I while I uh, break all this out, I'm actually going to do like a little bit of talking. So for my YouTube, um, all I'm currently doing at the moment is tutorials and stuff like that. But I'm running out of content really fast. Um, and I just wanted to know like what would you guys like to see on my YouTube? Because with uh, tutorials, uh, you can only do an X amount because they do run out and some I can't design, or I can't figure out designs for it, and I don't want to go ripping off other people's uh, stuff and get copyrighted and stuff like that, because I know that can happen and it's the worst. Um, so please do let me know down in the comments and stuff. Uh, I really need ideas, maybe better tutorials and stuff, like if you have any tutorial ideas, or if you want to see a series or something on here, that'd be really fantastic. Uh, so continuing with the tutorial, once you dug at that two block area below it, you're going to uh, three blocks out on two opposite sides. So like here, it's like uh, one, two, three. And then on the other opposite side, one, two, three. So these will be the sides of your farm. So this will be front or back, front or back. So on the side you want to be the sides, you're going to three blocks out. So you have three block gap. And then on the other two sides, you're going to go four blocks, so like one, two, three, and then you're going to dig out this area, and then one, two, three, dig out. So make sure it's basically a seven by, what would it be? Yeah, it'd be basically seven by a one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. So seven by nine room you're going to need, basically. Okay, so back to the talking. Um, basically, I need uh, content ideas for my YouTube to help it grow. I'm almost at 50 subscribers, so if you'd love to share this with your friends and stuff, the channel, please help me get to 50 subs. I'm, I'm hoping to make a very big career out of my YouTube. That'd be very awesome. Um, but I really need some ideas and stuff like that. So if, you'd, if you ever want to see anything on this channel at all, um, make sure to check it out. Uh, and give ideas in the comments. I will always reply to your comments, always, no matter what. I will always reply, because as a small-time YouTuber, replying to comments and creating a positive environment for your YouTube 
is just the best thing you can do to start off. So very good to do, and I will always reply to your comments and try to help you out. I had this one guy, um, recent subscriber as well. He um, needed help with the uh, iron farm design that I designed, and I, I popped him in the comments like, "Add me on Xbox, I'll join your world," and I helped him out with it, and he was very grateful. Um, yeah, I'll do stuff like that. I'll help you out if you need it, all that sort of stuff. Alright, back to the tutorial. So, on this, you're gonna need to choose your front. So you can have, so the front will be the one with the four blocks. So you can have it this side or this side. We're gonna go with, I think it'll be, yeah, this side. So we're gonna go this side as our front. So then we're gonna do a two by seven. So like basically, where these two blocks are, right here, we're gonna go like that. So just basically with two in from the wall, you're gonna go like a two by seven here. So you're gonna dig this area out, two back, just like that. And then what you're gonna do is after you do that, you're gonna dig this one down, just like that. So it creates like a little stairway downwards. All right, then on this side, you're gonna go two back. So for this, it's just a stairway down and then two back like that and two tall. So just so you can slip in and stuff, like so. Like that, so it just forms like a little stairway all the way down. And then once you've done that, so on this level, you're gonna go six more back. So you can dig out this top more. So you wanna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And basically what you can do is you can do this, or, cause you, don't really need to mine the top blocks. You can you need to mine all of this area out, and if you have a good pick, you can oh, wow. Well, you can just um, either just break some blocks forward, or you can place in one of your water buckets here, and we'll just fill to in here, just like that, and get into swim mode, and come in down in here and break it out. So now that you're in that cool mode type thing, which I just got out of, but you can basically just go in and break the blocks. Alright. Once you've done that, just like so, make sure that this top part is fully filled in. You don't want any spiders to jump up in here. Uh, done that. There we go. I'm just going to remove this water because it's a big pain. Alright, once you've basically done that, I'm actually going to get back under here, see if I can block that off, there we go, once you've done that, you want to basically be under here, so we've done that, and then on the last three, so these last three back here, so basically it's just three, here and then on the last three you want to dig down one just like this that'll probably make it a bit easier to build and stuff to dig this out so you want to dig three back so you have this new area here perfect and then you're going to place hoppers so well we can place that middle hopper so you're going to go basically one two three and then that that middle block that one center block between them all you're going to place a hopper facing into the ground just like that so you see that little funnel there goes in and then just crouch and place hoppers off to the side so the funnels just go in like that just like that and then voila so they all so another thing you could do you test it by throwing one item to each hopper and make sure they all land in that middle hopper and it should all land yep there we go seven of them Alright, so next what you're going to do is you're going to uh, dig down here, just like that, on that middle hopper, and place a chest, double chest like that. So that's for your all your collection system, that's what everything will be going in. And then after that, you're going to go blocks in front of the hoppers, like that, besides from the chest. For the chest, you're just going to place a slab, so you can still access it. And then you're going to go down another one, so take out this area, and replace it with slabs. That gives you the nice height that you need for it. And then basically you're gonna 
put slabs above this area, and then, oh, did not mean to do that. Well, that's great. So make sure that's all that. So now you're at the, like, the perfect height to slay them all, and they can't attack you or anything. And the XP gets pushed to like a certain point, and you can all collect that up and stuff. Nice and easy. Um, yeah, that's basically it, I think. Yep. That's it. So basically, if you want a normal spider spawner, you can still have the slabs there. It's a little bit more annoying though. You just basically, if you want normal spiders, if you have normal spiders, you just use that and just do that. Because they can't spit poison at you. So, you just place trapdoors instead of the slabs there. But you keep everything else the same. So now that that's been done, we're going to go out by here. And we've got to replace everything back. No. Okay, just like that. So that will be where you sit and slay them all. So you might want to build like an entrance into that. Um, make sure you do have your water down as well. So the better way to do it is you. If you get that out of it. If you have two initial buckets, you go one, two, just like that. So it creates infinite. And then with your empty buckets, you pick this one up and then you place it there pick it up and basically place it one over every time but it does still create an infinite water source and then you should, as you, if you go down here you should see that it flows directly oh well that failed it should flow directly to the hoppers and it shouldn't go past the slabs here so that will transport all of your items and stuff all over there and then basically that's it that's all the farm done you might want to as you go in I want to add like a, uh, to your part here, like a little trench here, probably, and then just like go up, yeah, and then just put ladders or something, that would be the best to um, get in and out of here, alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to get a diamond sword, I'm gonna go slash enchant enchant at self sharpness. Actually, let's see what it's like without the sharpness. So if I switch this now to hard, yeah, we should hear the spider starts spawning. There we go. And let's switch myself into survival. So I currently have no XP right now. And if we just, uh, the chest is empty as well. So if we just start slaying these guys, so it takes two hits with the diamond sword. See, look at that. If we kill three spiders, we're level already gained basically two levels. And yeah, look at that. This is a, a very efficient early game XP grinder as well, because you get quite a lot of XP for each spider. So yeah, so from just killing that like five, you get a lot of good stuff. String can be made for wool and stuff. Uh, if you do want to go check my iron farm, that produces a lot of string as well. But this is just basically an XP grinder. And it's really, really good. We're already at level 4. Basically, if you let it stack up for a little bit, it will be fine. Alright, now let's go and jump. And see what this is. So if you go sharpness, obviously you'll get, um, it'll be a one hit kill. Oh, wow, that one will. I hate typing on Xbox, it's actually annoying. Okay, so we go looting, and we go looting 3. And then now let's see the drops we get. We get a lot more drops. And, yeah, look at that. We've already got 13. So, it's more of an XP grinder than it is a mob farm. Besides from the string and spider eyes, that's the only thing you'll we'll get from this. Um, very easy for uh, XP though. Alright, there we go. So that is the tutorial for the spider spawner. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if if this worked for you, let me know down in the comments. Um, if this didn't work for you, definitely let me know down in the comments and I'll actually, I'll come and if you play on Xbox or PS4, I'll come and check out your world and I will help you and guide you through doing it in person. 
um, well, in Minecraft person. Basically, um, because if you ever need help with any of your farms or anything like that, I will come in your world and help you. All that sort of stuff. Um, and make sure, yet again, make sure to uh, like and subscribe if you want more content like this and stuff. Uh, helps out the channel a lot. And I'd like to thank everyone, everyone who has subscribed and everyone who's not. Just thank you for 44 subscribers. That is actually amazing. Uh, like, that is really cool. And my channel's actually grown so much in the past few weeks. Um, and I hope to get it, like, really big. But also, please let me know what you would like to see in this channel. It helps out so much. And always let me know criticism. Not like, are oh, you stuck and your videos suck and stuff like that positive like feedback on my videos telling me what I should do better or what content and stuff would be really helpful for me because I've never done this sort of thing before where I upload and content create and stuff like that so it'd be really helpful um, please make sure to share with your friends friends family etc etc uh, it'd be really helpful and thank you for watching I'll hope to see you in the next video goodbye